back to Cooking with Violet Vixen. Today I'm going to show you how to do a really easy sauce to go with chicken. You can serve it with anything else you want, but I'm doing this one with chicken. I've got some chips and onion rings in the air fryer. Uh, it's pretty late. It's going to be a quick dinner. So here's what we need for the sauce. I'm serving it with a chicken breast fillet, which I'm going to pan fry. Um, hopefully that won't take long. Got nine minutes left on the air fryer. So we're gonna get all this ready. I'm gonna do the two things at the same time. So come on in and I'll show you what we got. Okay, so I've just estimated for this because my recipe basically just says, place barbecue sauce, water and instant coffee in a saucepan. So to serve one, I've thought, I'll do it this way it's probably going to be too much so if I've got some left never fail I love barbecue sauce so it's going to be a keeper all right so basically I've decided I'm going to do a quarter of a cup of barbecue sauce which is just your normal barbecue sauce this is the one from Aldi I didn't think I'd have enough I probably will so there's the next one I'm doing quarter cup of water so 50 50 they're going to be the same uh, one tablespoon of coffee powder just use whatever coffee you normally use uh, chicken breast fillet is what I decided on to go with this you can serve it with something else if you want maybe you might want to do chicken nuggets or something with it um, and then finally a teaspoon of chopped oregano uh, if I don't get a teaspoon out of that it's all good it's just to garnish it I was going to serve it with chips and salad but um, given the fact that it's getting late and I'd like to be eating dinner now and watching MasterChef, not cooking dinner while listening to MasterChef, I'm just going to do it this way. All right, so first things first, spray your frying pan and get your chicken breast fillet in. Um, I'll probably put a little bit of olive oil in with it as well. Crank it up as high as I can. So come on over to the stovetop and we're going to get going. Okay, so this gives me a chance to use my little uh, frying pan and saucepan that I brought. Uh, I brought these because these are perfect size for single use and um, that's exactly where I'm heading today. Cooking for one. I'm trying to be cooking so that I'm not putting as much in the freezer because I'm still trying to take out of the freezer. I'm uh, just going to give the chicken breast a quick wash and I'll be back. I was contemplating not using the little sauce, uh, the little frying pan because <laughs> the chicken fillet is actually 100% um, filling it. But uh, in my favour, that might actually cook it a lot quicker. So um, I'll let you know how we go with that one. I'm going to grab some tongs. Um, chicken breast fillet normally does take ages to cook, but I don't have all day, so that's not going to happen tonight. All right, into here, we want to grab our quarter of a cup of barbecue sauce. Just going to take the lid off because it'll come out quicker. Oh, yum. Oh, I'm in luck because that's used all of that and I need water. So, you know what that means. I am going to put the water in that to rinse that down and I'm going to rinse that out with it as well. So I'm going to grab my cup of, quarter cup of water. I'll be back. Okay, so you've probably seen me do a thing where I deglaze a tin. Like normally I'll do that if I've got a tin of tomatoes or something like that or soup just so that I can get the rest of it out. Um, but I'm doing it with the bottle as well. So probably going to get a bit of um, steam coming off the other one. So 
good pyrotechnics, I suppose you could say. All right. So this is my barbecue sauce. I'm just going to let that drain just for a little bit while I grab the coffee. That's close enough. All right, I'm going to grab that coffee powder. I did say I'm going to use a tablespoon of coffee powder. I don't want to go too extreme on things. Um, so I'm sort of trying to keep it at neutral. You can experiment with different levels. Obviously, um, if you're serving more people, you might want to double this or triple it. But we'll see what it looks like when I serve it up. So just so you know, I haven't cooked this before. This is the first time cooking it. So therefore, uh, whatever it turns out like is basically what it's going to turn out like. Sometimes the best recipes are the ones that you've never done before as well. All right, so my chicken's getting nice and hot, which is really good. So I'm just going to get the tongs. There will be a little bit of a runoff, and that's only probably because um, the sauce, the frying pan's so small. Why do I keep cut? That is not a saucepan. This is a saucepan. All right. It's been a long day. All right. So the coffee and the barbecue with the water is coming together good. That is definitely enough for one person. Might even be enough for two, but as I said, I've got other stuff with it as well, uh, calamari and um, chips, so good chance that I'm just going to slather it all over everything. Uh, we're going to cook this over a low heat to combine. So I'm going to turn this one right down because I want to bring this sauce to a simmer. And then I'm going to put the oregano in at the end. Now, the good thing with the chicken breast is I can actually see what's not cooked. And um, sometimes it, it is actually easier to cut it up before you cook it. Obviously that way then you can see what's cooking and what's not cooking. So I'm just going to get the oregano out as I go because I'm using all of that up. Now there's no need for me to measure this oregano because there is definitely not a teaspoon in here. But I'm not that worried about it. It's more just to flavour it. Uh, if you've got extra oregano you can do it. I've got other oregano in the freezer but it was just good to get rid of that one. That one's a good one because it's all chopped up. They recommend that you use it within four weeks. But since mine's been in the freezer, I don't know if that still stands. It still looks good. So I'm happy enough with it. Now, I can put the other stuff away because when I dish up the onion rings and that, all I'm going to be having with it tonight is going to be this delicious sauce. I normally like a bit of aioli as well, but I'm going to try and get the full use of the coffee barbecue sauce tonight. Now, I'm just going to place that in like that. So I've really got to make sure this chicken's cooked through. So this is the best way to do it in the small pan at the really high temperature. So I'm going to be back when everything's all cooked. All right, so I'm just checking back in with you. We're still still at a nice low simmer with the sauce. It's looking nice and thick. And the chicken breast, I've just flipped over a couple of times. Becoming a nice golden color. I'm gonna keep it as hot as I can, only because that way it will cook quicker. So just while everything's been um, cooking, I've just been chopping it up into fingers just so that I can make sure that it is cooked right through. Chicken, if you eat it raw, you're going to end up 
sick so make sure it's cooked if you think it's cooked give it longer worst thing is if you cut into it and it's not cooked and you've turned off your oven and that you put it in the microwave you just totally ruin all that good cooking so you're better off just over frying it a little bit longer rather than um, doing it in the microwave and just drying it out sauce is still going I've got that on a very low simmer so we're getting there okay so I've pretty much browned the chicken breast all over so I'm happy with that I've got my goodies out of the air fryer the sauce is I'm just going to bring it up to the boil but we're ready to serve okay there we have it chips onion rings chicken breast strips coffee barbecue sauce bog in it's going to be good i hope you enjoyed this episode catch you next time bye